What's up guys, welcome to the channel, my name is Miro and today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite huntsmen, Heteropoda David Bowie. Recently my first Bowie, Ziggy, died and I decided to make a video on his life and basically everything from sling to mature adult to pairing and to exec and new babies, new generation. So everything's gonna be in this one video. We got him at the same time with another sling and it was just a luck that we ended up getting a pair, female and a male. And it was also a bit of a luck that they actually both mature to adulthood. Before we get into the video, let me guys just show you quick footage of my from my new camera. I'm super excited. I think it's gonna really bring up the quality of this channel and we're gonna get some better footage like macro footage. So let me just show you my Terraposa Stermi. This is a very first video, so I really don't have that much of experience with it so I'm gonna show you that one and if by the time I'm making the video as there's another one I might put it behind it So that looks pretty good, huh? And it was just like a very first video, so I'm hoping it's gonna only get better with better lighting and everything. I also had to take one of my videos down, which was the video on jumping spiders, which for our channel was doing really well. It had a few thousand views, and apparently even me following all the rules and using only copyright-free music from YouTube's own library is not enough. I actually had to take it down, otherwise I would get a copyright strike. I decided to reach out to some of my musician friends and so far we got really lucky and Baseman Character, which is a cool punk band from Berlin, decided that they will share some of their music with us. So when you guys hear some really rocky music, that's Baseman Character and don't forget to check them out on Spotify and all the links are gonna be down below. When Princess and Ziggy were born, they look something like this. These are baby huntsmen and these are freshly hatched. This is their egg sack and when they hatch, there's hundreds of them and for first mole or two they stay together here is our unboxing of ziggy and princess harry and as you guys can see he was a runner and we purchased them at this magical place called fear not tarantulas and i highly recommend fear not tarantulas is a definitely a legit place i initially put them into these deli cups since then i'm using something a little bit taller for them than this Ziggy had to earn his keep guys because you know those fruit flies they don't come free so he had to pose for me for several photo shoots and he didn't always like it as you guys can see he would bite the brush and I decided that it was always better to just leave him where he was otherwise he would bite and then he would run. <laughs> I feel most of my huntsmen fly in insects or at least insects they can climb because as you guys can see these are arboreal spiders and you guys can see sometimes he gets scared of the fly. This is actually a pretty big prey for him but flies can really hurt him so I wasn't really too worried about it. With a cricket I wouldn't do it because cricket would actually or cricket could actually hurt the spider. So most of my hatchlings I feed fruit flies then they progress to house flies and then they end up with blue bottle flies and as I said from time to time a spider it up with occasional cricket or banana roach or anything that can climb. One thing I want to mention is that we live in a really dry area and if you guys live in a dry area or even in like a medium dry area, I don't know what to call it, you know, miss them, miss them a lot. I would miss them two times a week at least and as adults they also have a water dish so definitely provide them with a water dish when they get a little bit bigger and you can actually fit a water dish into their enclosure. And here he is, is a sweet sweet juvenile, those sweet teenager years and he was living in this jumping spider condo that you guys see he's sitting on a lid and I was moving him into Exoterra his forever home and these are plenty big and I actually feel like my next generation I'm gonna keep them in something a little bit smaller because I don't think they actually take a full use of it but it won't hurt if you guys have them in something like this it's easier to feed them it's fun to watch them and as you guys can see they are actually super entertaining to watch when they hunt because you never really know when they're gonna strike and they can cover a really long distance and that's what I really enjoy about them because it's always the element of surprise. I already went a little bit over what I feed them and as adults I would also feed them sometimes soldier flies and look at that look how sneaky sneaky whoa wow really nice really great takedown yeah these guys are so much fun to watch and yeah so I would they would get anything from blue bottle flies to smaller cricket and sometimes they would even get two blue bottle flies but that was very very rare occasion and as you guys can see he will happily take it he would reward me with a beautiful beautiful huntsman dance <laughs> how can you not appreciate it i mean look at this he's got some moves his hips don't lie guys he's just like shakira <laughs> Even 
even though I gave him two flies here, one thing that I would discourage from is actually overfeeding these spiders because I kind of had a feeling that if you overfeed them, you promote the mold too soon and the miss molds happen more often. That's just kind of my observation, there's nothing behind it, but this is what I've noticed. So uh, I wouldn't overfeed them, as slings feed them maximum twice a week and as adults once a week, once every two weeks is just fine. But as they get older, they actually eat less. And even as adults, these guys will reward you with plenty of photo opportunities as long as you don't mess around with them too much. I wouldn't really suggest moving them from like their spot where they're sitting on. If you need to take pictures of them or if you need to do like a maintenance, like an enclosure maintenance, which I'm gonna show you later, just basically remove them with whatever they're sitting on. They will rely on their camouflage and they will most likely just sit in one one spot and they don't move and that makes things so much easier and I also recommend dealing with them during the day and here you guys are watching maintenance and this is actually the female but this just confirms my words as long as you don't mess with them too much let her just sit right where she is she's gonna be just fine I actually put the lid down and we did all the maintenance work that we needed to do in her enclosure remove some dead plants and etc and put her back in Ziggy never escaped but as you guys can see one of our females did escape and this is not her last stop so basically what I recommend is just keep your eye on her grab a catch cup but continue to keep in your eye on her because as you guys can see she just runs and runs and runs and even that wasn't her last stop we actually ended up catching her for the first time on my old work computer which you guys can see right here but she escaped one more time right after she just sneaked from under the door so if you guys want to check out that video go check it out it's one of our older videos since Ziggy was fully mature, I decided to pair him up. I actually ended up getting two sub-adult females and once they mature, I pair him up with all three of them, but he only made it with one. And here you guys can see actually the actual process of mating. He's right now sitting on her back, but eventually he slides under and he has pedipalps filled with sperm that he inserts into her sexual organs. It was going on for, I want to say, maybe like five or six hours it was going on for a really long time again i made a full video on this mating process so if you guys are interested in it go and check it out and here she is taking him to go already because she's like buddy i've had it with you i need to go and hide it's early in the morning it's time to hide for huntsman so that was basically the end of the mating but we were very happy because you know we got another generation of these amazing spiders and here you guys can see her actually laying her second egg sac she actually ate the first one we were on vacation and I don't know what happened we came back and the egg sac was gone so she ate it and that's why it's actually a really good idea after like 30 days to remove the egg sac because you can prevent some of these accidents and you guys can see here I'm like doing exactly that I'm actually pushing her away and using my tongs to remove the egg sac and it went basically without any major problems except for her she was pretty sad and that made me kind of a little sad to watch her like looking for you know her babies they're like oh where is my egg sac are all my babies but i was also like you know what if you didn't eat the first one maybe we would leave them with you we can really risk it and we ended up getting like 180 of them 180 baby huntsmen so that was really amazing and after 34 days i'm finally opening the egg sack and checking on the baby huntsmen making sure that everybody is well and alive and I was so happy guys, this was really like my first successful spider breeding so you know, you gotta be proud because it's also not the easiest spider to keep since then we actually pairing up some other spiders so I'm hoping that it's gonna go well but look how they almost like uh, see through these huntsmen and they stay together for a couple of molds and then you have to separate them and as it goes, Ziggy got old and here you can see he lost most of his colors and I think he lost some of his vision and sensitivity too and the hair because you can see he's actually missing the prey completely so once they start turning this color which was i want to say like almost two years later this is basically the end of it and the females are still going strong but i can already see they're also getting a little bit more red and a little bit darker in the color so i think their time is unfortunately coming as well so he ended up living probably close to two years and the females are still going strong but they also are getting a little bit darker in the color and they starting to show some sign of age but that's what it is huh this is just the life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button notification and subscribe button if you like my head don't forget to check us out at spider cafe that shop 
and I hope to see you soon. Ciao.